Sharpshooting builds in NBA 2K20 are very important. We know it. Swizz knows it. He's one of the best sharpshooters in the NBA 2K League, so we brought him on. Swizz, how's it going? It's going pretty good. Good. We did a shooting guard build um, early in the year that you created. We're swinging back now. People asked from your animations video. If you've made a new build since then, you messaged me. You said yes, and it's a point guard, right? Yeah, correct. It's a point guard, but it's still a sharpshooter first and foremost. So without further ado, let's get started, Swizz. It is a point guard, you said. Are you going left-handed this year? I'm right-handed. Like you switched back this year? Uh, I wouldn't, uh, well, in 2018, I was left, and I stayed right from last year, and I'm still right-handed this year. That's I don't know right. why. I don't know what it is, but. That's right. And then we're going 35, the Swizzer yeah, number. Yeah, number 35. You already know. All right, let's talk skill breakdowns. Which pie chart do you want to go? Uh, the, the one, the biggest with the green. Biggest with the one. green. So this guy right here? Yes, sir. Perfect. And then what about your physical profile? The fastest one, the first one. Fastest one, we'll double check, you are correct. So we're 83 speed, we are the green pie chart, which is for shooting. And then now onto our attributes, we'll start in finishing, Swizz. So close shot, you put it up to an 80. Okay. Got it. And then driving layup, a 70. Okay. Uh, driving dunk, you put it up to a 37. 37, <laughs> all right. Uh, Mid-range shot, 95. Okay. He does max those three. Max three point shot, max, free throw, max. That's the Swiss I know right there. <laughs> okay. Uh, post fade, 86. Got it. And then pass accuracy all the way up. Okay. Ball handle all the way up. And okay. then post moves to 61. Got it. Um, interior defense of 47. Okay. Perimeter 73. All right, we're just flying 72. through this. Yep. You said 72. 72. All right. 75. Okay. And then leave. I left the last two at 28 and 29, and then defense rebound 69 all the way up. Okay. So all right. And the reason I have it like this, so like I wanted to get as many defensive badges as I could possible on my sharp. Um, so that's basically why I made my layout like this and don't have really any finishing um, points. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you're not really finishing as a sharp really anyways in the first place. And I'd prefer to play the top of the key than the corner. Even though I put defensive rebounding up just in case I do have to play the corner or something, um, I still like it. And for like parking stuff, mm -hmm. um, and there's not anything else to really put it in besides this defensive rebound. But okay. uh, so yeah, I just wanted the eight defensive badges, really. Okay. And you you went maxed out on shooting, of course. You yeah. You wanted for sure. to get all thirty. I have a feeling we'll be getting the diamond on the badges, uh, yeah. for sure. And okay, so you play this mostly in park, right? Sometimes in pro am. Um, well, I mean, like, so like I like rec. I mainly used it in, and I just go in because it'll put me in at point guard, and then I just control the whole thing and just do my thing in the rec, basically. Okay, okay. That's that's basically what I like to do with it. And so, why did you change from shooting guard to point guard from earlier in the year? Um, I probably, I'm, well, 100% gives you more playmaking badges because um, it gives me 15. On my other one, I know I did not get 15. I'm pretty sure I had 12 or 13. Mm -hmm. And it also gives you dimer on this one and stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure on my other build, I didn't get eight defensive badges either. I don't know what I had, but I, I'm 90% sure it was not eight. Okay. So just overall, a point guard gives you, I'm pretty sure, more playmaking badges and more defensive badges. So Sounds that's good. literally the main reason why a point guard is better than a shooting guard. Okay, and then body shape does not matter, but what do you want to go, Swizz? Uh, I just use compact. Compact, okay, little body, little body. Yeah, I, don't, I don't really, I, they don't really do anything. <laughs> all right, what about <laughs> height? Uh, all the way up 6'6". Six, six. Ooh, okay, talk to me about why you go 6'6". Six, six. Uh, I mean, you want to be as tall as you can. I mean, it's not really hurting you. Uh, I mean, you're losing some points in a few things, but I mean, it, I don't think it's drastic enough to really uh, hurt you. 
at the point guard spot. Okay. And at things you don't really care about too much, right? Like the, Correct. Uh, you, you've already leveled up your defense, your lateral quickness, your steel, enough to be manageable um, at those levels. And then your three-point shooting, you're still at a 93, 94, 93 on the ones that matter. Your speed goes down a little bit, uh, but you're still a 77, which is not bad. Okay. Yeah, the biggest hit is definitely on ball handle, but, I mean, your ball handle already sucks as a sharp. So, I mean, it's, I feel like it is what it is, really. Like, you're not really doing much regardless in the ball handling uh, side. Okay. And what about weight? Uh, lowest weight. Lowest weight. Okay, so you get some acceleration back there. Wingspan, yeah. lowest as well? I leave, I leave it default. You leave it default? Yeah. Okay, hopefully I'm at default. Um, I, think it is I mean, you don't really get that much of a boost from putting it at short. It only like boosts your three-point shot up like one or something like that. And like, I don't know, the wingspan is nice playing uh, for the defensive side of the ball. So, uh, gotcha. yeah, I don't think, as a sharp, you're already, your shooting's already so high, I don't think you need to go shortest arms. Perfect. That makes sense to me. And then I'm guessing you're going to go sharp takeover, right? Yeah, for sure. And the sad thing is on my build, I have the other takeover because um, I have uh, – wait, why did it give you these two takeovers? I didn't even get the playmaking takeover when I did mine. Uh -oh. oh, this is glitchy. We're glitching. Oh, this is glitchy. <sighs> I, it gave me – it would give me the shot creator one and the sharp one, but uh, definitely the sharp one. Okay. So don't make that mistake. We're going sharp. This is a sharp build for sure. So sharp shooting facilitator, Steph Curry, D'Lo, Jamal Murray. Pretty good comparisons, right? Hey, hey two Warriors in one thing. Love it. Okay. Actually, I don't. Go Pacers, Swizz, <laughs> get out of here. Get in out real of life, here, Swizz. Um, no. Where's Pacers secondary fan at heart? Okay, on to the badges here. To refresh us, we have one finishing, 30 shooting badges, 15 playmaking, and eight defensive rebounding. Swizz, we'll start with the blue category, aka finishing. Not much to work with. We got one badge. What do you want to do? Yeah, I really, I still just go with Giant Slayer um, as my main one. I, like, I just feel like nothing, honestly, I feel like they all just suck for your one badge. I feel like <laughs> nothing really does anything, yeah. honestly. Like, you're still, I feel like I still miss, regardless of whatever badge I use, I'm still missing at the rim. So, uh, yeah, I just go with Giant Slayer. Like, the hop step sucks, so I feel like Fancy, fancy Footwork isn't that good on a sharp. So, yeah, and then, like, Slithery, like, I don't know. You're really not uh, dodging stuff with that on either. So okay, I just go with Giant Slayer. Giant Slayer it is. 30 shooting badges. Where do you want to start here, Swizz? Um, so look at his, li look at his eyes light up. I, See, just I think look it's too it many. Yours. It's honestly too many. I, I don't know. <laughs> but I just put certain ones in places like I don't even need them, honestly, it feels like. There's yeah. just so many. But uh, So Hall of Fame catch and shoot, I go. Okay. Uh, Hall of Fame Dead Eye. Yeah. Hall of Fame Green Machine. Hall of Fame Hot Zone. Okay. Hall of Fame Range. Hall of Fame Quick Draw. Got it. And then you're left with six. So I mean, like <laughs> you do different things with this. So like honestly, like in reg, I <laughs> low key steady shooter. I think is like actually interesting. Um, going Hall of Fame. Um, in Park, I don't really like it, but in Rec, I think when you take more contested shots and you can hit your open ones, I do think this badge is actually interesting on Hall of Fame. I okay. actually like it. Um, but if you're not hitting your open shots and you have this badge on, then I'd probably take it off. But honestly, I don't see that much of a decline um, when All I right. use it. We'll do so it for I, fun. I like using it in Rec. And then I, I'll just put like two on a Tyler score at the end. Um, okay. Uh, this is like what I like to do a lot of the times, especially if you don't um, miss your open shots. I like going with the Hall of Fame steady shooter. Okay. Or if you, I say if you don't like going that badge, then um, I mean, like you could just see. I don't know. Then it, there's just so many badges. Like you do so many things. Like you can max high the score, but I don't think you really need to. Cause, I mean, you're running as a point guard, so like if you are playing this spell as a point guard, you could run low on stamina. Um, just because, like, you're slow and, like, you can only do so much. So, like, I do uh, kind of like Tyler the Shooter on this build. Um, volume Shooter, I feel like, doesn't really – I don't know. I don't really care for that badge that much. So, I don't know. I don't really use it. I feel like it doesn't help me that much. What about, um, like, personally. a hot start if you're coming out in park, maybe? See, a hot start, silver? I do find it is interesting. I do like hot start in park um, if because you could get – you you're all, like, you're like the main shooter, correct? So, mm -hmm. like – 
it, it, like you're playing twos with the big man you're basically getting all the shots so i do don't i don't mind hot start for park 100 percent wreck i don't like hot start at all okay um but for park i definitely don't mind that badge it's like you could take down steady and go two and hot start and okay. uh you could even put like go so you could go silver volume if you want to and just take steady shooter off okay i think is interesting or or you could get real spicy in park and just go hall of fame hot start Ooh. and take off volume i think that's interesting for park um <laughs> Not for I would never do that in rec, but for park I definitely like doing that. Gotcha. All all good options. We have the base. You got the diamond with the range extender, the catch and shoot, and then like Swiss said, you can move those last few around to your play style and whatever game mode you're playing. Okay, uh, fifteen badges here in playmaking, Swiss. Uh, so I go gold dimer. Team player. Uh, <laughs> gold handles for days. Okay. Uh, gold quick first step. Okay. I go gold tie handles. Yep. Uh, and then I go bronze bailout, bronze lob city passer, and bronze needle threader. Uh, where's needle threader here? There it is. <laughs> Got it. Okay. That's that's my layout. Sounds my, good. And I, I've used this layout for so long, I don't even mess with that. I just think it's for sure the best one with 15 upgrades for a sharp. I don't think you really need to go anything else. I mean, it, it makes sense. If you want to throw lobs, you can. You've got the two handles badges, quick first step. Helps you as much as it can. Bailout, because you're shooting quite often. Needle threader, if you want to throw it a little bit inside. Pair that with dimer, your dot and corners and park as well. I think that's a great setup, Swiss. Okay. Yeah. And then here, you purposely added some more badges in defense and rebounding from your last build. What do you put those in? Uh, so I go gold clamps. Okay. Uh, bronze intimidator, bronze interceptor, and gold pick dodger. Okay. And, and that's is, what do I you want. use gold pick dodger in both rec and park? Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't use pickpocket. Good deal. Um, yeah, no, I'm not getting really any rips as a sharp, so I just want to try and get off that screen as easy as possible. Uh, get off those big bodies and try and uh, clamp up those guards doing them behind the bags over and over. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. I think, I think that's another good setup. You can still get in lanes because remember, you do have that wingspan, viewers. Everybody, he didn't right. go down to minimum wingspan. Um, it does. Uh, enable him to get out in those passing lanes a little bit more. And then Bronze Intimidator. If you haven't watched our uh, must-have bronze badge video yet, go check it out. Bronze Intimidator was one of the ones on that list. So, okay, Swizz, any last thoughts on your build here? Uh, any last thoughts? I mean, I feel like, I don't know. I mean, I feel like this layout is honestly the best you could get as a, for a sharp with getting uh, the most... Uh, the most uh, out of your points to get into your badge upgrades. I feel like there's not many other ways you can go to, that could increase your potential. But yep. I mean, if I'm wrong and you uh, got something better, a hey, hit me up and let me know. I would love to see it. <laughs> but um, what about yeah, jump I mean, shot? Last, last jump, but not least, yeah, jump shot. I still use this jump shot 98. I think it's the best. I do think Ray Allen's interesting also. Okay. Um, I don't mind Ray Allen at all. Uh, but those two, I think, are my two favorite. Sounds good. Well, thanks for coming on, Swizz, and sharing your upgraded build. Uh, we appreciate it. I know all the viewers at home are rejoicing that you finally came back on and, and updated us. For sure. I hope you guys like it. Sounds good, man. Well, thank you again, for everybody, for tuning in on Swizz's updated point guard sharpshooting build. Let us know in the comments, like Swizz said, if you agree, if you disagree, if you'd move some of those badges around. We'd love to hear it for sure. Uh, from Swizz and Cody and all of Pacers Gaming. Hope you have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one.